Heart Foundation fan. Uh, my number three team is uh, the New Age Outlaws. For much the same reasons Weston said earlier, they were they were the, be the best tag team in their era for the four or five years they were there. The best tag team going. Granted, it wasn't the best tag team division at the time. Let's be honest. Well, look at what we have now. That's true. They were very good out there. Five time tag champions. Yeah. What? My number three is going to be the Hardy Boys. Uh, <coughs> I'm dying here, so hold on. Uh, I, I, like John, uh, and I know I'm preaching to the choir with all four of us. I'm not a huge Jeff Hardy fan at all, but uh, they did change the face of tag team wrestling along with Christian and Edge in that, that uh, Terry Reynolds Invitational, the first time they wrestled in the ladder match. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember watching that. That was one of the, that was the first pay-per-view I ever ordered, No Mercy, when they fought it. I remember just watching it like, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. And what are they, six or seven time probably? Tag team champs, Hardy? Six times. Six like times? That, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put them in there somewhere. Just, Damn, you know. how much of a loser I am. I know they should <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> my three is Edge and Christian. Nice and quick, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, my number two pick, and uh, almost anybody's list, you know, if, if they know anything about wrestling, would have these guys on it for sure, and that's Hawk and Animal of the Legion of Doom. They were the first guys ever. I don't know nothing <laughs> about wrestling. <laughs> no, <hold on. laughs> You know, at the time, we had the AWA, NWA, and WWF. Not WWE, but WWF. We're your major companies, and uh, they held the tag titles in all three. I know the Dudleys have now since achieved that feat and surpassed it, but even if you ask the Dudleys, they will say the greatest tag team of all time, and their opinion is. They actually you know, do. Doom. Wes and I went to uh, Lockdown of Philadelphia, and... The Dudleys are signing autographs, and a, a fan shouted out, "You guys are the greatest tag team ever." And Devon said, "No, it's the Road Warriors." Yeah, even he said so. Yeah. Uh, my number two team is Edge and Christian. I think for much like we we're all big fans of this team, and, mm -hmm. and, and the guys as individuals, that are, along with the Hardys and the Dudleys, they just changed the face of the game. They revolutionized that, and they're multiple-time tag team champions, and. Very good. They could brawl. They could wrestle. They were the mm -hmm. best of their era, much like the Outlaws. My number two is the Dudley Boys slash Team 3D. Like Joe said, 22-time champions. Can anyone surpass that? Uh, you know, it's very hard, and uh, it's you know they're the legends really in tag team wrestling. That's right. Yeah. My number two. <coughs> is Kane and RVD. What a surprise. <laughs> Kane made the list and twice. You, and you will find out, Kev here is a big RVD fan. Oh yeah. Big time. <laughs> hey man, smoke it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my way. pick for uh, the, my, my belief of the number one greatest tag team of all time is uh, John's number five pick, actually, the Rockers. I chose them to be number one because there was no team like them before. And they kind of ushered in teams doing double team moves and taking advantage of the five count. And they also showed that a small team could beat, you know, big power guys. You know, I mean, they would wear them down with double team moves and stuff. Never officially won the WWF tag team titles. Sure. Uh, they, however, were, I believe, if I remember correctly from reading Sean's book, uh, two-time AWA tag team champions. So. Uh, my number one tag team should be everybody's number one tag team because they're the greatest tag team of all time. Bar none, no argument. 20 years from now, still be the greatest tag team of all time. The Road Warriors. But there is nobody better. They had it all. Power, Speed. They were nobody looked like them. Uh, guys were intimidated before they even got to the ring with their big spikes on their shoulders and their face painted. They had it all. I don't mean Legion of Doom with Rocco the puppet thing going on in the 80s. That was lame. I mean, the Road Warriors in their heyday. The best team 
far none. Wes? I really do need to pick up a Legion of Doom DVD. Available at WWEShop.com. But, uh, see, the Legion of Doom that I know was Road Warrior Animal and Heidenreich. <laughs> so I can't really, you know, they don't go in comparison, I'm sure. No, no. Um, my number one team that I picked, uh, that I've known for the last ten years, has to be, had to be uh, Edge and Christian. Because they started out as a team, you know, they raised through the ranks. And how many multiple times they, did they win the TLC matches? They won the first TLC match at WrestleMania uh, 16, I believe. And they just kept going and going and going as a team. And then when they split off, Intercontinental, they split off, you know, and then they both became world champions in different organizations. And, you know, there's, they're definitely two Hall of Famers. There's no question about it, whether it be tag team or singles. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. No argument there. I agree. So. Uh, number one for me, Heart Foundation. Very good. Yeah. I love the Heart Foundation. Not on my list, but I like the Heart Foundation. And uh, before we end the show, uh, speaking of, uh, we've mentioned how Kevin's an RVD fan. Uh, news out that RVD possibly going to TNA. Paul Hogan is looking to bring him in. Uh, I think it could be a good move. RVD is a household name. Yeah. Uh, could fit well in with that X division or the heavyweight. I think it's a great move. I think him coming back to WWE is a waste. I think he becomes Evan Bourne in WWE. I think he Intercontinental at best. Never makes it out of the mid card picture. Intercontinental or yeah. US. And I like RVD. I'm him saying, and the Miz probably. Vince won't do anything with him. Yeah. Uh, look how long it took him to do something with him the first time. Gets a heavyweight picture. He just gets beat by Cena. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I think it's a good move because, like John said, he'll be you know intercontinental or or beat by Cena or Batista or wherever he goes, and he won't be the world champ. He goes to TNA. He's always in the running for the title. He's the champion. You know, he, it's a great move. I think. And him and AJ Styles. Yeah, that, that, that would bring down the house. And him yeah. and Kurt Angle. There's yeah. a lot of him and yeah. Daniels. There's a lot of. A lot of good possibilities. A lot of guys there. that fit his style. Yeah, uh, yeah. It'll be yeah, really a lot good. Of potential there. Yeah. yeah, it should be really good. And it's new. Yeah. In WWE, he's kind of you know. Yeah. In TNA, it's a fresh start. I'd I'd much rather see him wrestle in TNA than Hogan. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He fits much better. Yeah. I think in mean, WWE, he's he's yeah. not Evan Bourne. He's Chris Jericho. Yeah. He's a fill-in guy. When we need you, main eventer. Otherwise, mid card yeah. loses a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we'll give you the pat on the back of uh, either U.S. or Intercontinental. Yeah. But yeah. Throw you Maybe in. we'll throw you a world title if, you know, in a couple Cena, years. Cena or somebody's injured or, or something. Doing a movie. Throw you in for a chamber to fill out or yeah. put you in a rumble and you're one of the last two or something. One of those kind of deals. But, yeah. <coughs> hey, Kev, your thoughts. It's your boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I'll be starting to finally watch TNA. <laughs> Starting Thursday night, then. If he's on. So the Phillies are back in season. Then I'll have to start taping Phillies. <laughs> wow. Wow. The Phillies get pushed back. That's that big RVD means. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not talking like Yankees, and you can just yeah, yeah. pee on them pretty much. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's all the time we have this week. Uh, next week, we'll have another top five list. Not sure what it will be. Uh, we'll be discussing the wrestling news. And uh, possibly we'll be discussing uh, what we saw so far of uh, raw guest hosts. Till next time, we're out.